Chris Hines solo string library has just been updated. And I have to say, this is the most comprehensive set of solo strings that I've seen. And Hidden Away, actually, is a way to use these as ensemble instruments. Let me just give you a quick look around the interface. And I want to take a look at how to use Logic's new articulation ID system with this third-party library. So on the basic page here, we have basic controls. And I love the legato transitions that are programmed by default with this instrument. They're just gorgeous sounding. And we have some control here where we can see what's being played, what layer, what velocity, etc. And we have some stunning sounding convolution reverbs here that can be used. Now the articulation presets page is where all the action takes place, I think. There's a great amount of control over how the individual articulations work. We can control the length at a time for the legato transitions. We can have short or long. There's different parameters for the glide, the portamento effects. We click the overview here to get the list of articulations and we can see the list here and switch. So we have, for example, accent vibrato versus, let's say, the dynamic expressive long. There's all kinds of great effects. And there's more settings at the bottom we can use here. We can turn on the round robin and different fader style dynamics curves, ADSR, etc. And we can even tailor the vibrato, the LFO speed and the shape of it. So really a great amount of control. And one of the things I like in here, let me just close the overview, is that we can increase the number of players. So even though this is billed as a solo string library, we can get an ensemble type sound, for example, solo. If I dial that up, we get five players now based on this spread and this amount of detune. So it really does work nicely as a small ensemble section. I'm going to go back to solo for a moment and I want to look at using Logic's new articulation switching system with these articulations to make for an easy workflow in Logic. So here's the violin on this track and there's no articulation set called up by default and I'm going to call up one from Studio Strings just to start with, the Studio Violins. And let me now go to Edit, so we can edit this set. And I'll just move this out of the way. And we have a bunch of articulation and IDs that are set up to work with Logic Strings, but we can customize these. We're in the Edit mode now, so I'm in this Articulation tab, and I'm going to map just the first few. So let me rename this one, and rename the next one to Flotando. And I'll do a couple more and I'll just speed it up to save you having to watch this all. Okay, so we've got a few of them renamed. We could go through the whole list, but I'm just going to do the first few to illustrate this. And now on the output page, I misspelled accent, but that's okay. I'm going to set these to note on and I'll set the selector here to be A minus one so that that's the message it'll send out. And then similarly for this one, note on and then A sharp minus one. And again, I'll speed this up. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do here. I'm going to leave the switches that, since this has to do with Logic's internal instruments. And I've just renamed the first few. I skipped out one of them. That's fine, just to illustrate how this works. And this is mapped. So don't forget now to save as when we're going to save this as a new articulation set. And I'm just calling it that since it's temporary for the purposes of this video. So now this will be available, of course, in my list as one of the options. So we can now program up a part and work with Logic's articulation ID switching system to trigger the different articulations. I'm going to record a simple part and then we'll use the MIDI editor to switch the articulations on the individual notes. All right, so let's cycle this and we can look in the piano roll editor and they're all going to use right now sustained vibrato, which is the last articulation I had chosen. Let's just listen back. So what I can do is select any or all of the notes and change the articulation ID from this menu. So I want that first one to be the accent sustained and then the next ones 
Maybe I want to use the flotando for those. And I'm going to leave those as the accent sustain. And this one I want to use as dynamic expression long. I want these to be quieter, so I'm going to change those to maybe the lyrical vibrato. And I'll just quickly assign the rest of the notes the same way and be right back. Okay, and I've got these alternating between accent sustain and flotando for the high and low notes, and then dynamic expressive long, and let's listen to the whole phrase. So that's a way to use Logic's articulation IDs to interact with third-party libraries. And again, I can't say enough about the Chris Hind solo string library. This is just a violin instrument, but there's also viola, cellos, and contrabass, and they sound fantastic. There's a great selection of articulations, all useful mainstream, plus some more esoteric ones for some interesting type of playing styles, and it makes for a great library.